Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is something kind of fun, kind of exciting. It's my first real collab where I'm working with other people and it's awesome because I'm putting it together, really excited. But what makes this super duper excited is the people that I'm working with. I reached out to a lot of the women in the fragrance community and we got together and decided to make a fantastic list of our favorite masculine and feminine fragrances for fall. So if you'd like to know what the ladies of the FragCom think and recommend, then keep watching. Foremost, you guys, there will be a list of all the ladies below. Definitely check them out and show them some love and subscribe. Um, I asked them to choose a fragrance they would love to smell on their partners, their spouses, on men. What do you think they would recommend for the opposite sex for fall? And then what fragrances they would recommend for themselves or the ladies that they think would work really well in the fall. A lot of these fragrances are unisex and you can go either way, fragrance is genderless. But I thought it would be fun because a lot of times people ask, and I see on my channel and other channels, a lot of you guys are asking, what would you choose? We'd love a woman's opinion on this. So I thought it would be fun to do a video like this because fall's kind of like a really nice time. People get really excited for the weather and the food and the holidays. And I see a lot of people in the fragrance community getting really excited for their fall rotation. So without further ado, let's get to the ladies and I will let you guys know my thing. Hi Kristen, thanks for inviting me onto your channel. So I'm Smurfy Girlie and I'm going to tell you about a fragrance that I love to wear in the fall. And that fragrance is... Dun, dun, dun. Tobacco Rose from Papillon. This is a fragrance I don't feel like I want to wear when the weather's really warm. Uh, just because it's so rich. It just doesn't feel right. It, um, it doesn't refresh me like I want in the summer or the spring. But as soon as the weather turns a bit chilly, I can't wait to reach for this. Oh, here comes Sweetie. Let <laughs> me see a little tail. Shall we get Sweetie on camera? I'm not sure if you're allowed, sweetie, because I was invited on here, not you. But anyway, say hi, everybody. Say hi to everybody, sweetie. She's, um, ow. Oh, claws in my knee. Ah. Um, so, Tobacco Rose is obviously a rose fragrance, but there's a whole load more going on. It's incensey and dry, maybe even slightly leathery. It's got a real kind of salty, savoury dry down. The rose is beautiful. It doesn't smell like, um, you know, like those hand creams that you buy or like the the uh, smelly shower gels and soaps and stuff that um, are often aimed at the older generation. It doesn't smell like that. This is a beautiful, grown up, sophisticated, sexy rose. But it's not just about the rose to me, it's all about that sexy, salty, savoury dry down. There's beeswax in there and oh, it's, it's stunning, it's stunning. Um, so that's Tobacco Rose by Papillon Perfumery, which is a British company. The perfumer is Liz Moores and um, it's my favourite so far from their range of fragrances. It's absolutely stunning. So what would I choose for a man? I'm going for Noir Extreme from Tom Ford. That's a beautiful gourmand, but it's not too gourmand or too sweet that it could be annoying to some people, but it's rich and sexy. So yeah, Noir Extreme from Tom Ford is beautiful. Close runners up are Dior Homme Parfum. I absolutely love that, but that might be a little bit more wintry for some people's tastes. I just love it. And the other one is a Valentino Uomo Intense. It's got beautiful vanilla dry down, which I really, really like. So these are my four frags that I love for men and women. Moving on to the next person. Hi, Beauty Meow. Thanks for having me. Vava Couture here. So I'm here with my sexiest men's and ladies fragrance for the fall. Fall is here. Let's get into it. So right now, I am really digging Roja Creation E on a man. I find that incredibly sexy. And uh, I do have a sample of it. And I do have a decan, uh, a decan bottle of it. And guess what? I may have another baby because that fragrance. Girl. Yes. 
it is very sexy and I do love it it is a baby making type of fragrance I love it I absolutely love it I find it very mm, emotional like it gets me <laughs> The next fragrance, this fragrance for the ladies, my favorite, and I always go back to the scent, and this scent will probably, I don't know if it will ever change, but I am still digging my Tom Ford Noir Poufin. That is my all-time favorite sexiest fragrance. To me, when I want to feel confident and I want to feel sexy for my man, my husband, <laughs> Yes, I will wear that and I will spray that on and it is an amazing fragrance. You guys know Tom Ford Noir. There's been thousands of reviews on it, so I'm not going to go in, but it does have a hint of slight tobacco. It's deep. It's yummy. It's so me. <laughs> so yes. Hey guys, my that name is Yana and I'm from YouTube channel Tamalise. Feel free to check it out and subscribe if you like, I will really appreciate that. So let's talk about my favorite fragrances to wear for fall season and I would like to start with a fragrance for a lady. It is called Mmm and it is by the brand Juliet Hasegan. So why do I think this is a must-have fragrance for colder weather? First of all, it has a very creamy almondy texture because of the notes of caramel, helotrop and sandalwood. It also has very sensual vanilla and a bunch of flowers. So as you can see, this fragrance is definitely gourmand and sweet, but even though it is not cloying and it is very easy to wear, it is warm and it is actually a happy scent for me because the opening is very fruity as it develops the flowers and vanilla comes through and the dry down is musky with a hint of vanilla and light floral elements. I love how long-lasting this perfume is and even though it doesn't have a crazy projection it is still very noticeable. So this is definitely a must-have gourmand fragrance for a fall season and look how gorgeous the bottle looks. I absolutely adore it. And my favorite fragrance for a guy to wear in a fall or in the winter is called Jazz Club and it is by Mason Margiela. Guys, this is awesome. It is also on the gourmand side, but in the opening we have beautiful citrusy element with slightly warm spices. As the friends develops, heady note of sweet room comes through and in the dry down we have sweet tobacco and vanilla. Guys, this perfume is blended so well and when you will wear it, you will get compliments, which is always nice. It is a very long-lasting perfume, which is great, so you don't have to uh, reapply it and it projects. Even though it projects a lot, it is not overwhelming, it is super pleasant perfume, it is also a unique fragrance and it is awesome when it is cold because it is definitely on the warm side. So the best part about this fragrance is, even though it is on the manly side, it is unisex. So in my opinion, even a woman can pull it off easily. And that was all from me, I hope that you enjoy it and uh, let's move on to the next Hey, Benson here and thank you so much Kristen for allowing me to share my full fragrance pick with your audience. I appreciate you. So my pick is Lil Yukawam by Versace and I'm gonna tell you this, it's actually for men and women. This is like a true unisex scent, although this was marketed for men only, it's unisex. The reason why I love it is because it smells very similar to Tuscan Leather by Tom Ford, but it's way more wearable, way more sweeter, more sensual and seductive, and it's super easy to pull off during the fall season. So this one is my pick. I'll definitely be wearing this all fall as I appreciate a little bit of fruit and leather in my fragrance wardrobe and I highly suggest it. So let's hear the next Everyone, reviewer's happy pick. Happy fall. I am so excited. This is my favorite time of year and I am so almost ready to bust out my cozy sweaters, scarves, and of course 
the cold weather fragrances and I have three that I'm going to talk to you about today and the first one is for women and this is one that I have not been able to put down since I recently got it and it's called Gourmand Coquine from Guerlain. This is a very beautiful boozy chocolate gourmand fragrance perfect for the fall. It is my favorite gourmand fragrance I have ever smelled hands down and I am so excited to be able to wear this in the cold weather. I have been wearing it recently but only in the nighttime when it gets cooler but this is definitely going to be on my rotation heavy during the fall season. The other two fragrances I'm going to talk about are specifically for men and the first one is a fragrance that I love so much that I did a video on it already called the sexiest fragrance that I have ever smelled and that fragrance is called Writer from Ex Idolo and it is a wonderful boozy again with the booze boozy scent but also has tobacco and incense and all the things that I really love rolled into one fragrance for men but it's also unisex enough for women i would definitely wear this scent and i hope to get a bottle soon the next fragrance i'm going to talk about for men is one that i haven't talked about on my channel yet but i hope to do a review pretty soon and it's called evergreen dream from gallery fragrances and this is a fougere fragrance with a lot of lavender up top but it's great for fall because it has some deeper darker notes um, it's got pine resin patchouli oak moss in the base and it's just one that I think men will really really enjoy especially for the colder um, months that are coming up that burst of pine resin it's just really really suitable for the colder crisp air of the fall time those were my three picks I hope everyone has a happy fall thank you to Kristen for putting this video together I am an awesome company with the fragrant women of you hey guys Tina here the critical Virgo thank you beauty mail for asking me to be a part of this she wanted us to share our favorite fall fragrances with you one for the guys and one for the girls but I thought it'd be fun to do a cheapy and a more expensive fragrance because we're all at different places in our fragrance journey and we all have different budgets and I want everybody to find something amazing for fall. So I'm going to start with ladies because ladies first and I'll go with the cheapy. Um, but just a, thing, a disclaimer out there, the cheapies are not really cheap. Um, they used to be more expensive when they were at the higher end retailers like Sephora or at kiosks in the mall. But they're just cheap now because they're not sold there anymore and they're at like discount over stock lots. So um, just just know that they're amazing. These are not any better or worse than something else you're going to find out there at like Sephora. They're actually really good fragrances that nobody talks about anymore. So for the cheapie for ladies, I'm going to go with Emmanuel Angaro's Apparition. Looks like that. And this is my second bottle of it. I actually opted to get the larger one this time. Back in like 07, I paid, I think it was like $100 for the smaller bottle. I get compliments when I wear this every single time. And I'm not just saying that. And that's the reason why I went for the larger bottle after I ran out of the old one. Because I pulled it out, used it. I got a compliment. And I'm like, why don't I wear this more often? It has this incredible raspberry note in there. It is a gourmand. So if gourmands are not your thing, then you're probably not going to like this. But if they are, then you definitely want to check this one out because I got this large, what is it, like a three, three ounce bottle um, online. You can find anywhere between $19 and $30 now. $19 and $30. And it is a great fragrance that's just been forgotten. For the more expensive fragrance, a lot of you guys already know what this is. Um, caused quite the stir a little while ago. It was Mancera's Pearl. Gorgeous, gorgeous bottle with some amazing detailing on the top. And every time I wear this, people always pick out the rose note in it. It's so good. So if rose is not your thing, then you probably want to steer clear of this. Four ounces, 160 bucks, amazing projection, longevity. Both these fragrances, awesome for fall, winter, spring. Heck, I even wear them in the summertime because we live in endless summer over here in Florida. Now on to the guys. I don't hear anybody talk about this and I don't know why. Um, it's by Zur, it's corduroy. Looks like that. 
probably remember this sitting on like Sephora shelves back in like, geez, what, 2004, 2005? I'm not gonna lie. I had an ex-boyfriend that used to wear this and it was just like the sexiest scent I've ever smelled. I had to buy it. I actually bought this for my boyfriend, but I'm keeping it for me because it smells amazing on the ladies too, I'm just saying. And this again was at Sephora, so I forgot how much it was back then. But you can find this online uh, between $12 and $40. This is probably better for early fall or even spring because the projection is like nothing. It's very close to the skin. But if you're cozying up to your girlfriend, then you definitely want to go reach for this because you won't choke her out. And huh, this fragrance has caused quite the stir in my household. Um, it was actually something that I purchased a long time ago and then somehow it became my boyfriend's. It is Armani Privé Cure Amethyst. It has an amazing purple top on there and you could tell it's no longer mine and it's his by the way because the corners are cracked. So this thing has seen some better days. But uh, I found it on Notino for like 134 the tester version. But you can pay retail and I think it's like 270 Has this gorgeous violet in it and a nice creamy suede that just sticks around forever. Projection and longevity on this are amazing. It's really uh, deep and rich and it makes a great fragrance not only for fall but for winter. Heck, we wear it in the summer over here because every day is summer over here in Florida. So it's a great year-round fragrance. Date night definite must it's so sexy on both women and men but i'm picking this for guys hope y'all enjoyed this if you did go ahead over to my channel like some videos subscribe all that jazz thanks for watching and on to the next one bye guys hey guys it's me delicious delights how are you guys doing okay so i'm standing in front of a very typical canal that you would see in amsterdam if you can see behind me there's a house there, a boat going by, more houses back there, and I think there's bicycles on the side here. Well, all along the canals here, um, there's like bicycles just chained to the fence. If I turn around, that's the other side. So now you can see what it looks like in a typical Amsterdam neighborhood and yeah first of all thanks to Beauty Mail for inviting me into this collaboration thank you so much I have two sexy fragrances one for men one for women that I want to share with you guys today they're both niche and uh, let's do this all right so the first one I want to share is for men it's from the house of Amouage very very sexy fragrance it's called sunshine uh, although I say it's for men, I honestly think that women can wear this, but this is just so, so amazing. Um, it smells like a lavender vanilla field, <laughs> and that in itself doesn't really sound very sexy, but my gosh, I, it just, it's so sweet, it's warm, it lasts forever, it, it projects, it's a beast, it's just amazing, yes, it's expensive, but I think that this is definitely worth it. It's my favorite on my husband. When he wears it, he wears it for special occasions. And I just freaking love this one. So, sexy fragrance for men and more sunshine. All right, and now, sexy fragrance for women. I've talked about it on my channel before. It's from the house of Maison Lancome. It's this beautiful bottle, Oud Bouquet absolutely gorgeous i haven't actually reviewed it on my channel yet i'm not really sure why but i think this is just such an amazing fragrance it's so rich and bold and makes me feel really confident when i wear it it makes me feel special it makes me just feel like a freaking vixen <laughs> and i honestly don't feel that way when I don't wear this. <laughs> I have that with a few fragrances, Ivory Root being another one, but uh, especially for the upcoming season, I think this would be an excellent one to try if you haven't tried already. So those are my two sexy fragrances that I would recommend for men and for women uh, for this year. I hope hey, you guys enjoyed super it. Super duper.
<laughs> that's a silly word I'm sorry so anyway yeah those were all great picks there's a few of those that I was actually considering um, part of my picks as well but I didn't quite make the cut and I'll tell you why um, but before I get into my picks I will again have all the ladies linked below to their channels definitely go check them out and subscribe but let's get into my picks now my picks are two that are very similar but there's one reason why I think it would work really well for women or people who like to wear feminine fragrances, and then one, again, the opposite. If you like, if you're a man or you want to wear a more masculine fragrance, these both kind of, to me, fit really well in either one of those categories. So if I'm looking for the ladies, I chose this one because this one's a little bit sweeter and a little bit lighter. Um, and that comes from 4,160 Tuesdays, and it's Oh My Soul. You guys already know how I feel about this fragrance. It's in my top five. It's absolutely gorgeous. If you guys want to know a full breakdown of the notes and everything, I'll link the review below. But the reason why I chose this fragrance is for the people who like feminine fragrances or for the women um, or anybody really, if you're looking for a more feminine fragrance for fall, this is a little bit sweeter and lighter and it dances on the skin a little bit less than the other one which is a little bit heavier. But there's something spiced about this and woodsy about it and it's a beautiful, warm, delicious, ambery sandalwood delight. It's absolutely gorgeous and it works beautifully in cooler weather. So I feel like this would be the best choice, uh, at least me recommending. If you guys are looking for a beautiful fragrance for fall, if you like feminine fragrances or you're a lady and you're looking for recommendations, definitely check this out. It would work well on men or women. Now for the men's fragrance, I decided to choose something that's a little bit sexier and a little bit heavier. It's not as effervescent as Oh My Soul, but it still has that beautiful richness and warmth that that fragrance has. And it comes from Maison Francis Carcan and it's Grand Soir. This is an absolutely beautifully delicious fragrance. It's warm, it's sweet, but it's not crazy sweet in a juvenile way. It's heavy, it's rugged, it's syrupy. There's something about this that I really enjoy. Now the nice thing about this fragrance and on my soul is they're not too loud. And what I like most about fall is it's more of an intimate time. It's more of a personal time. It's more of like when you start to go into like hibernation stage, although not hibernate. You're less out there. You know, for me, summers are going out to parties, going to the beach, going out and being more social with a lot of random people you haven't met before and making first impressions. And to me, when it comes down to fall and winter, it's when you start to nurture the people that are in your life that you love. And so when I'm thinking about fall fragrances, I was thinking about fragrances that were warm and inviting and cozy and also sexy and alluring and delicious, but that are more intimate so that the closer someone gets to you, the more they get to experience and appreciate the fragrance you're wearing. That's why I chose those two, because I feel like the closer you get to the person wearing them, the more you want to get even closer to them. And I feel like those are both really sexy, beautiful fragrances that work really well in cooler weather as well. Again, throw a ginormous thank you to all the other fantastically amazing, talented, awesome women who are passionate about fragrance in the YouTube fragrance community. Again, their channels are listed below. Definitely check them out. Um, subscribe, say hi for me, that would be super duper, and definitely show them some love. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like collaborations like this, and videos like this, anything like this, remember to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this, and also don't forget to subscribe. Because it's free, and I'm free, and I put out new videos every Monday through Friday, and sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy, and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time.